And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Hero Rotation Proof Standard is what we have going on here today. Starting this today, this is Monday, and each Monday here on stream from 3 to 10 Eastern uh, over at twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG if you're watching this later on, we're going to be making rotation proof decks. This is the thing that's the most common question that I get are, do you have any decks that are rotation proof that are still strong? And, and um, people right now with rotation happening in about seven weeks from now, the, the end of September, we're thinking, we don't know the exact day for arena, but it's probably around the 23rd, 24th of September, if I had to guess. Um, you know, at that point, uh, Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Corset 2019 will all be leaving the format. And so we're going to have the other four sets that are currently in standard with Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica, Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Corset 2020, plus our fall set, Throne of Eldraine. Those will be the only five sets that will be legal and standard. So what we're doing is we're using we're making decks that are just including the four sets that will still be legal um, right now. Okay, so we got Esper Hero here. And you can see that like we have basically everything in the Esper Hero deck is staying. There's two really big things that are leaving. One is Teferi Hero of Dominaria. So we're not going to have that um, just huge card advantage engine at the top end of our deck. Uh, because of that, we have extra Guard Mage and Bell Hunt. Like these cards are, are just very good value cards that we got some extra copies of those than what you usually see in Esper Hero decks. And we're playing three of these top end cards with one command, the Dread Horde, and two Bola Citadel. Um, these are kind of our, our top end that we're going to be using to, to try to um, really bury our opponents. And um, the other thing, of course, is the Check Lands. That's the, and that's the biggest thing. With a three-color deck, like three-color decks really miss out on the check lands. As you see here, there's no Isolated Chapel, Drowned Catacomb, or Glacial Fortress in this deck. So instead, we got the full play set of Temple of Skrylance in here. And then we also have to play three Dismal Backwaters and three Tranquil Coves, which aren't, aren't great. It's going to slow us down, most likely. We'll, we'll see how it really works out here. And I'm playing some extra basics. We're playing more basics than you'd normally play in an in Asper Hero deck, basically because we just want some untapped sources of mana. Um, hey, what's up, Anom Anomaly? Um, <laughs> never a fan of Hero, but you you and your streams are the real hero. Aw, thanks so much. Thanks for that resub there. So let's give this a try. There's still a lot of uh, good reactive cards to be playing in the Esper colors, and so exactly what you want to be playing, of course, can be changing. You know, like, you could definitely be playing more Legion Zen to Sparks, Mortifies, these kind of cards, more Deputy of Detentions. Um, even in here, I don't have, like, Noxious Grasp, Devout Decree, like, those um, Ether Gus, like, those cards are all pretty good at doing doing a job. Um, I have Ashiox and Unmort Egos in here because of the Scape Shift deck. Um, Time Wipe and Deputy Detention, both pretty good against Scape Shift as well. Like, if we can deputy detention away a bunch of zombies, and then we time wipe, pick up our deputy detention, and kill a bunch of more zombies, and then be able to replay the deputy to get rid of a bunch more zombies, that could be pretty sweet. Um, oh, I guess one other thing about the deck. As you notice, I have the Narsets in the sideboard. Narsets are a pretty popular main deck card. But I, because we don't have the big Teferis, I'm focusing more on the creatures, of course, because of that. So we have, like, we have like a pretty good amount of creatures, and we have Soren to bring them back. And so also because of that, uh, I'm just moving the Narsets to the sideboard where games two and three, I think Narset's going to really shine. It's going to come in against a whole lot of stuff because games two and three, it's more interaction from our opponent, more interaction for us, from us also because you know it's like basically our whole sideboard is just spells. And so we're going to be having a lot more spells post sideboard as we really sw switch our deck and tune it to try to fight our opponent and Narset is going to... Um, help out a lot more there okay um so let's let's give this a try so we're gonna with our rotation proof decks we are going to play over in the traditional constructed queue where you spend your thousand gold and enter and see if you can win five before you lose two so far today orzov snackerfice had a good good league went three two but 
Unfortunately, Gruul Ilharg. Well, Gruul Ilharg felt pretty good. Like, it, it felt like a pretty good deck, but we lost to the two best decks in the format with uh, Vampires and Scapeshift there. We fell to those two decks, which happens. Hey, what's up, Credit Com? Thanks for the Thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. <laughs> Whoops, threw a bit, boot in there. All right, so yeah, our mana base is going to be kind of painful because I guess we gain a little bit of life with the these gain lives, but we're going to be shocking a lot with these things. Yeah, as far as what lands will be in the next sets, I I don't know. Um, there there will definitely be new. There will definitely be a cycle of new lands in the fall set, but I don't know what that will be. But there will certainly be there 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 are going to be five new rare lands. Presumably, they're going to be the colors that the scry lands are not. That doesn't necessarily mean that they will be scry lands. I'm I'm probably saying that it's it's more likely than not that they are not Skylands. Like I think it's a less than 50% chance that we'll get Skylands in Throne of Eldraine like the other 5 Skylands. I think what what's more likely is that like next core set would have the other 5 Skylands kind of thing. Like that could happen. The burglar rat. Rats. So we got mono black discard here. It's certainly possible that our opponent is playing the scheme scheming symmetry combo. Like they'll cast scheming symmetry and then I don't remember the name of the other one the one mana card that makes you mill over whatever card you find. Yeah, Tomb Bound Lich already looks pretty strong. We were debating between Tomb Bound Lich or Thief of Sanity for this slot here. Ended up going with the Lich, and it looked pretty decent there. All right, so definitely want Narset. Uh, let's get the Soren. You know, if they're going a whole bunch of discard stuff. We want cards that you know gain card advantage. So uh, Narset, Soren, those. Do that. We don't really see any use for basically any removal. So, you know, Legion's End to Spark. Well, who knows? Could just cut both of those. Yeah, sure. We'll see what they play here, game game two. Widespread brutality. Okay. Yeah, I'm all for some widespread brutality. That's a really strong card. I like that one. All right, well, our mana's working out so far. Working out ish. Yeah, Grix is yeah, Grix is a mass. Yeah, that that's definitely a deck to watch for post rotation. We'll have to kind of see what happens with the mana with that deck. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not vampires for three mana Soren here after rotation. 
I could see them like a lot of times the the two core sets kind of go together like the two core sets that are in standard they kind of um chain chain together i i could see like not very much vampires until like the next core set there's a few other like good vampires that helps three mana soren be really good again for a few months I, mean, I could also see them also just, you know, printing vampires before that, but I'm just saying that's a possibility. No. I thought since they took hero that playing another hero would be a good good call. Alright, Mind Rot's a two for one. That's a one for one. This is a one for one. This is a two for one. So would I rather get So it's, I'm taking either Fen Lurker or Mind Rot. I guess the Fen Lurker. Taking Fen Lurker makes it so they, if they want to play one of these things, they have to just just play that and nothing else, or like they would be able to play the Pilfering Imp and Fen Lurker together. I mean, there. Yeah, you do face some jank decks in this event, but it's not. It's not always jank everywhere. Um, you know, last last time with Gruul Ilharg, we played the two best decks in the format both rounds, and you know, played a couple of good matches there. You know, there was zero jank, so. not like it's all jank i don't know i haven't played any twiddle storm deck before i shall miss your company i know my responsibility no i am not making this up as i go It's so unlikely that we actually get to cast the Command the Dread Horde, but if we do, we win the game. Darn. <laughs> Ooh, mana's working out. Here goes nothing. It's like actually good to keep our hand. Keep nothing in our hand against our opponent's deck. I dwell shadows. Davrio. Much easier on my skin. Ow. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not really. It's basically only good if it's a land for us to Let's minus. If this. it's a land, it's a good minus of bouncing the Pilfering imp. imp. But if it's any spell, then we have to discard one of the spells to Davriel or whatever else they play. Reese is pretty sweet. <laughs> Our opponent just typed a discard into the search bar. And then built the deck. It's possible. Let's tidy up in there. Well, that didn't pan out. Struggling? Good. Our contract is voided. Mm 
Don't worry, I got this. Bouncing my own Belhan and making them discard their last card was a consideration there. I've got it. Man, this deck's pretty good. I mean, maybe it's our. You know, I guess our, our opponent's deck isn't really anything, but these cards are, are pretty good together, I'd have to say. But I guess we didn't really have much competition there, but still. <laughs> yeah, just like Storm was saying, this deck is so much fun. Oh no, 20 gems. I can't complain about 20 gems. <clears throat> Those gems add up. Get another cosmetic after a little while. 20 gems is just is the same as 10 cents in the economy, so keep getting those dimes. So yeah, Esper here is your favorite, Storm. Um, yeah, I won't, I won't be playing Teal deck on here. Basic Plains, Thought Erasure, Tyrant Scorn deck. Good deck building. <laughs> um, sure. That'll work out. Hasn't worked out yet, but it will. No, I haven't played the Ixalan event yet. That's something I need to do still. I know a lot of people have been playing it and have been, pl have been having a lot of success with it. So I'm kind of scared of like things that pump these things a whole lot, like this. So I guess this thing we do have Othakaya for, I guess. That's like a draw two and that does nothing. We'll take the draw two. Mono black Karn, Karn troll was really great in the Exelon event. Okay. Awesome. Cool, that's a fun one to play. So I'll know that's one of my favorite decks. Uh, looks like we're playing this. Gain a life. Look at that life gain coming in clutch. Ow, ow, ow. Well, I can't double Tyrant Scorn, so we'll just single out the Kaya. Because the planes. Ooh. Bunch of little creatures. Deputy, Time Wipe, Legion's End. I don't know about Soren. Like, maybe Soren. Like, Soren's good if we're getting lifelink with all the other stuff, but maybe not. I don't know if I really want, like, Command and Citadel in this kind of matchup. Guess I don't want to spark at all. Do I want to play like one Citadel? 
Hmm. I don't know, these duresses maybe? Narset for the enchantment that draws? I don't know of that. The enchantment that draws? They have they have like that divination. They have like just the draw two. I don't know of an enchantment, but Narset gets killed really quickly by little one ones. Maybe just play a couple of duresses, I guess. The blue enchantment that draws when they deal damage to a player. Is that a card in standard? I don't I don't know this card. I'm gonna save the scry lands. Oh, Curious Obsession. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, that, their deck doesn't have that card. Yeah. I was thinking... Yeah, I guess... I wasn't thinking of auras, I suppose. Uh, I guess we shock. No, you're you're good. No, uh, just saying, calling it an enchantment is is usually better. Th like that's a lot of people call it an enchantment, not call it an aura. But just whenever you said enchantment, my, I wasn't thinking of auras, so I was trying to think of some enchantment that would just stay out there, kind of thing. I would rather have that spell pierced than Ezekiah. I don't really mind that getting spell pierced. Yeah, it's both. Enchantment. Auras are enchantments. But I was simply stating I wasn't thinking of that. Good Skyland. It's nice that our spells keep getting countered, but we keep getting 1-1s. One That's pretty nice, part of Hero of Precinct 1. Yeah, this is the second time today we've played against Blue-White Flyers. We struggled pretty hard against it last time, too. Hmm. Is it Fairy Miscreant? What are they most likely to have in their hand? Definitely not Spectral Sailor. Maybe Miscreant. Skyland, help me out. Ooh, that's a good one.
stop this fight, but I will finish it. That's right, Soren, finish this fight. We can't attack Soren because of the Othakaya. So after seeing their deck again, any of these cards stand out? Kind of don't mind a second Soren. Would would I rather have Soren instead of Mortify, or instead of a Teferi? I just want to keep Mortify. Check out one of these Teferis for a Soren. I could see that. Like I could see this Life Link really mattering. Let's do that. Let's do that. Would grabbing Sanctum Seeker be too good? Sanctum Seeker. I'm not sure I understand your question, Matthew. Simic Yoink is going to be... It's a, just a blue-green ramp deck with mass manipulation. So, like, we're... Stealing all of our opponent's stuff with manipulation, so we're yoinking their cards. That's why. It, that's where its name is from. So it, it's like it's like these lands. You're like, oh man, well we're gaining life. It's helping us out. Well, honestly, like it's it's actually costing us a life playing these because if these were check lands, we just play the shock land in first, and then we play the untapped check land, and so we'd still be at twenty, but. Here we have to gain a life so we can pay two, basically. Yeah, I don't value bluffing. I don't value like the last card in your hand being a land bluff very much at all. I think it's usually better to play out your lands. Especially when you're playing, if you're playing like any cards that draw cards, like where you want the, ex where you, it could actually end up mattering, you have the extra lands. For experienced players, it's very easy to play around the, um, do I want to shock for Othakaya here? Not really. It's, it's pretty easy to tell when your opponent has a land in hand. Basically, it's the, it's the bluff that you see all the time, so it's one that's pretty easy to read. The only reason why I want, why I want to shock to play Othakaya is that next turn it's a better chance that Bell Hunt and Garmage resolve if I shock and play Othakaya. That's the only reason that I want to do it. No, I'm still just not going to do it. Oh, I should just play Tranquil Cove, though. Right, I should just play Tranquil Cove. The, I guess the other reason is that if we play that, then we can see if we get to attack through Rally of Wings. It is easier to bluff. It's a little easier to bluff in paper. If, if that's like your whole goal. It's a little easier, but it's not, it's not a whole lot different. It's with how with how Arena has like with the 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 stops and everything, it's certainly easier to read on Arena than on paper though. Hey what's up mouse? I 
I've never been one that, that does very much of the bluffing, though, like even playing paper. I, I play pretty straight up. That's just my personality kind of thing. It's not it's not necessarily getting more me more W's or anything, but it's just not something that I really concern myself too much over. I base I think Guard Mage is a better card than Oath of Kaya, so I played Oath of Kaya first. That was my thinking there. So there should be Rally of Wings here, which I'm fine them spending their mana for it. It's of Wings, right? Rally of Wings? Yeah. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more like it. Strife makes monsters of us all. So I'm getting this lifelink in here. Honestly, it may have been better just to attack first. Like, play Soren, attack, and then play the Teferi second... Like, maybe not attack with hero, attack with the others. Play, sec play the Teferi second main. I require your body, not your soul. And I just got stuck on blue mana. A little rougher than there. All right, two no. Asper Hero. The deck the opponent's playing wasn't isn't that bad. It's a it's a it's a playable deck. Good old temple makes it easier to keep this hand. Looking for the third land. Look at that get a get a spell out of a land. See how good that Skyland was there, Storm? Gross. All right, so Narset, Daredevil, Crackling Drake, these are all pretty devastating. Definitely would not have drawn that third land if it wasn't for that Sky Land. Um. I 
I just don't think playing hero into the shock is really too worthwhile. So yeah, you just you don't have a good understanding of deck building. Is there something you do that has good results? Um, it's hard hard to answer. It's nothing like imp like I don't know. It's you know it's a really broad question. Everything. If you haven't checked out the the level one resource that Reduke wrote, I guess it's about four four years ago now. Um, but it still has just a lot of really good information about uh, just kind of everything with magic and deck building is a part of that. I'd recommend going through there, you know, reading through there and everything. And even though the references are are old, it's still very good information. I like seeing that. I like seeing ditching a crackling drake because I'm really worried about these crackling drakes. Yeah, Daredevil Thought Erasure is awesome. Daredevil is so good against Thought Erasure decks. I have certainly done my fair share of Daredevil against the Esper deck and Thought Erasure them. So I can't complain. So hopefully hopefully that helps there, Blood Wolf. I don't think that's a very good tack for my opponent. You know, they have the shock. They could just sit back and block. Go with the block and shock strategy. Teferi or Othakaya? Basically, Oth Teferi is like was probably going to be used to bounce out the Kaya back. It's fair he does bounce Crackling Drake, but I'm going to Thought Erasure away Crackling Drake. Hmm. I guess Oath of Kaya. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to beat all these crackling drakes? Jeez. I just have every crackling drake? <laughs> that card's too good. <laughs> I like advance. Such a bad block. I'm guessing my opponent didn't know about the death touch there. That's my guess. All right, well, I got wrecked. All right, well, three drakes are out of here. So now we only have to deal with one more. Only one more. Ugh. I wanted to play that card. Got some lands over here. Nope. We've drawn 13 cards, and we've scried 
one. And we've drawn two lands. All right, do I trade the guard mage for the shock? Creatures are too big for all my Othakaya removal. So they just in general, they should be putting their very best card in their hand. They should be putting it on top. So like that expansion explosion should be going on top. So we're going to test our opponent here, see if they played that correctly. I still have his beat, but the exp like explosion for all those for how much mana they had explosion was more valuable than expansion. At that case, all right. So how do we kill crackling drakes? I guess this thing. This doesn't stop crackling drake. Like, Narset Duress are pretty easy. I don't know, maybe Time Wipe? These Othakayas did not look good at all. You know, does Teferi Time Raveler. I don't want to bounce Crackling Drakes. Or, like, any of their creatures. I don't want to bounce any of their creatures. We just cut Oath of Kaya Time Raveler. Is that a thing we can do with our life? Oh, we got to Sparks. That card's great. Get some Vito Vito Vichis in here. And play another Sorn instead of Command. No, maybe play the. No, I probably want to play the Command. Yeah, I don't know if the, our opponent has Finale of Promise. It doesn't seem like it. They don't look to be a Phoenix deck. All right, let's see if we get lands this time. Scry? Not a land. You're a good card dress, but you're not a land. You're on the bottom. That's a land. Eyeglass. I don't think I care about Spyglass. Like, they're probably going to name Teferi Time Raveler. The main name Teferi here of Dominaria. I don't have any Teferis in my deck right now. And that's They're probably naming Teferi. There's just no Teferis in my deck. It's the good good part about playing rotation proof, a rotation proof deck. I mean, shutting down Teferi here of Dominaria is is awesome. But we got rotation proof standard over here. It's not a land. It's going to the bottom. Those are just the rules. I don't make the rules over here. Stop. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, poor opponent. Just wasted a spyglass. They didn't even know. That card's good. They, yeah, they said time. I boarded out all the time ravelers. Yeah, <laughs> so I've. I have zero Teferis in my deck right now. They said Teferi Time Raveler, which would normally be a good card to, to be naming, but... Uh. Alright. I guess I could play that. I mean, I really want to play Citadel. Uh, yeah, I guess that card's too good to bottom. It's worth it. Correct. Yeah, expansion can redirect a veto. Well, wait. Wait, how, how are you envisioning that to work? Because vetoes can't be countered. You can copy... You can copy veto, but then you'd just be playing another veto. You can't veto a veto. You need, like, Narset's Reversal. Like, Narset's, Re Narset's Reversal... doesn't That bounces the spell back to their hand. The expansion doesn't get rid of the veto on the stack. Hey, Hawkeye. You want to come join us? Get some scratches. This is sad. I want to play my Bolus of Citadel, but we're not going to be able to because our opponent's dead. I kind of forgot about the Legion's End in my deck. That Legion's End probably shouldn't be there. I should have that third Tyrant Scorn in my deck instead of the Legion's End. I just saw it right when I was clicking Submit again. All right, okay, here we go. This is a shockingly good mana base that we have here, especially for our deck. Warbass? Warbass? Attack of the killer fish, the war bass. All right, don't really have removal, so I suppose I should thought erasure away that thing. The war boss. No. I was definitely planning on just playing Hero Precinct 1 here, but because of the war boss, 
We're going to play this instead. Riot Vale! Staying on that streak there. There you go. That's a way to do the Twitch Primes. You just have it at the beginning of the month. It's beginning of August. Get that resub in. There we go. Thanks, Rivale. Hmm. All right. Eighth sub of the day. We are two subs away from our first sub goal. And get that towards our next 12 hour stream. So far we're at four sub goals out of 20. I do a 12 hour stream whenever we hit 20 total sub goals across periods of time. And we've hit four since our last 12 hour stream, which was last week. Was it last week? It was Wednesday. Gain a life. So I'll just get this spell pierce out of their hand, I guess. Or I could start flying. Start flying. Yep, that card's not in my deck either. Yeah, the Tomb Bound Lich has been real clutch. Certainly a whole lot better than uh, than Thieves Sandy would be. Good to gain this life. Look at this life link. And it has that death touch too to kill like these goblins. That death touch pretty important against these 1-1 one, one goblins. Maybe I should just be getting another Lich in play. So I can start gaining two life every turn. So I can double block the gobos. And we get to cycle away this duress. Lich feels like the super nighthawk of my dreams. Doesn't have flying, but has looting and death touch. Life link. That is a good point there. Does does Vampire Nighthawk have Death Touch? It has Death Touch and Life Link also, right? Yeah, so I thought it's been a little bit since I've cube drafted a, a vampire nighthawk. It's been a minute. Oh, do not get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I guess this kills their creature. Nah. 
Poor opponent with the Spyglass. They've had both of these other games. It's just done nothing. I guess if you play an Esper deck, everybody's going to be expecting a whole bunch of Teferis. So if you're just not playing Teferis, you just get them. Oh, that was a good pupper. That was a good pupper. Scritches. I kind of feel like we should have this 26 land. We're like basically always wanting to draw lands. Just never enough land. Hello. We Definitely lose game one against Gape Shift with this hand, right? Yeah, this is a, a blue Yeti Pro microphone. I don't think bouncing Hydro Crisis is a smart plan. Who knows, maybe Bola Citadel can win this game for us. You never know. That's a that's a car that could, I suppose. Even if it's not likely, it could. I guess I should probably get the island, but if I get the island, then I don't get to Bell Haunt. That's fine. I don't really need to Bell Haunt. Let's have to ferry bounce one of these two twos. Be a bad idea. All right, well, we'll have the Citadel next turn. But there just wasn't really reason to unban Rampaging for Rossidon. They just stayed banned. There, there wasn't really any upside in, in unbanning it. Like, worst case, you know, like, it's really unlikely, but there's a scenario, I guess, that, like, they unban it, and then, like, red decks are way too good 
and like everybody's playing red decks everywhere and people are like complaining about them unbanning it and then you're, you're like ah do we we can't really just go back and reban it and then it just even though that's not a very likely scenario it just wasn't really worth the headache from wizards point of view I don't think I can really beat Scapeshift no matter what I do. So I might as well just play the Citadel and just play like they don't have Scapeshift, I guess. Like what? Like, Because I could Thought Erasure, but then they Scapeshift in response, but then what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. So honestly, this is like my best way to like maybe beat Scapeshift. Is like half Thought Erasure on top and then Legion's End or something like that. No, didn't get there. Ooh, no scape shift. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have attacked Teferi for that, because it bounced the Citadel. Right. Forgot about that part. <laughs> Sorry. Just kind of talking about magic and life and stuff. Things happen. I guess their hand's not any good. Ah. That's a pretty good card. That's a pretty good card. Darn it. I should have Teferi bounced first. Never punished. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that, Matthew. Yeah, I may do the the Ixalan event if we have extra time tonight. We'll see. I have a real busy day tomorrow. Before stream. That I also need to get ready for, though. So we may have an early stream night. I don't know. We'll, we'll just kind of see. Now what? Find a removal spell for this crisis. My life would be a little better. protect you. I abhor my need for blood. 
I'm just trying to stay alive. Why is it my opponent killing me? Why do these why are these the sparks so bad? I'm gonna rebuy the hero precinct one. Maybe I should be blocking the. Maybe I should have the guard mage block the crisis. Yeah, so like I'm just Soren's just gonna bring hero back. <laughs> Attack was straight out of a Game of Thrones episode. We did last like quite a while for this game that I thought we were dead a long time ago, but I guess it we lasted until our opponent found Scape Shift. Um I have one Legion's End in here that we were looking for. All right, time to sideboard. Get another Legion's End. I guess we want the, like the Dovin's Vetoes, the Deputy, the Time Wipe. I don't know about the Soren, but get these Ashiox and Unmoored Egos. So yeah, get these Ashiox, Egos, Narsets. Um... To spark the heck out of here. That card looked awful. I don't have much removal for Krasis. I got these Tyrant Scorns. All right, that's that's something. That's something. Deputy, very good there too. Um. Okay. So Othakaya out. Othakaya does kill a little to Fairy, which is nice. Command is out. That card is out. Tombbound Lich out. These Time Ravelers didn't really seem very good. Like, the best thing it does is keep my opponent. I'm going to trim two of them. Uh, I'll trim two of those, one of these, maybe both Sorens. Yeah, I guess it's probably just both Sorens. And then an Othakaya or two. And... Lichers. Mortify kills Krasis, or sometimes they have enchantment removal, or sometimes they have deputies, or I don't know, that kind of stuff. Probably cut that other Othakaya for another veto, but I was running out of time. I forgot about the duress veto. Those are perfectly reasonable cards. Which be 
We'd be thinking about Veil of Summer and Counter Magic from their side. Doesn't have our two best cards. Ashiok and Ego. That's reasonable with Thought Erasure into holding up Veto. Kind of the problem with this hand is how my card to counter is the circuitous route. So if I would have just taken Krasis, they would have gone grow spiral and then I would have countered V I would have vetoed the other thing. I guess I should have just taken Krasis with the Thought Erasure. Think I'm back at it. Cool, you went 5-0 with the Gruel Ohark deck, way to go. Yeah, I thought that deck's pretty good. Good good showing, good job. They have all the Field of the Deads in their hand. So my plan here, <clears throat> counter this, get more pressure. We don't have a counter for escape shift, but whenever they escape shift, we legions end. And hope that we can kind of finish the game off after that. That's my plan right now. If they have growth spiral, kind of make they're making it seem like they have Reaction. If they have Grow Spiral, ah, it's rough. Get to make a couple zombies here. I don't think it's something to play around. It, it certainly felt like they had Grow Spiral, but oh well. Just two mana, draw a card, get a land drop get two zombies at an instant speed. It's messed up. Oh, come on. This deck's pretty good. This deck's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Escape shift deck is not bad.
Ethereal Absolution. Yeah, it's the card that gives my creatures plus one, plus one, and the opponent's creatures minus one, minus one. This is just a bad play. They have Field of Ruin. I'm just dead. This drew all four <laughs> Field of the Deads. <laughs> that hurts. I'm just dead. Uh, that was just a bad play with the Legion's end there. I forgot about I forgot about this Field of Ruin right here. I'm just dead. Can we draw a blood sun? Yeah, whatever, we'll play it out. Scape shift is pretty busted. Really, field of the dead there. It's pretty busted. Maybe you know, like we have our our four best cards in our sideboard with Ashiok and Unmoored Ego that we don't have. Like honestly, maybe we just don't have a chance if we don't have those. Like just maybe Mulligan the hand if you don't have them, kind of thing. The pro and like another huge problem with with Scape Drift is you need really to beat that deck you need like you need so much sideboard of like those kind of cards like Ego and Ashiok and Blood Sun you need like so many of those to try to beat that deck and those cards just aren't good in any other matchup so you have to you have to like have so much sideboard slots for that deck with like cards that are just not cards that you want to be playing in any other matchup at all and it makes it really tough. Yeah, Blood Sun and Ego are really just the only good ones. Ashiok's really not that good. It's it's fine, but I mean it's it's good, but it's not it's not like it wins you the game. Yeah, Crafty Cup Purse, same kind of thing. Good card. Doesn't doesn't win you the or like that could win you the game. They don't have to ferry. All right, mono red for our last matchup here. Oh wait, we're playing a regular league. Not necessarily the ma last matchup. <laughs> yeah, Steel Leaf Champion and Lana Worlds are going to be missing those, but we'll see what comes through to, to replace them. The Golgari Stompy is a lot of fun, and yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying that deck a lot. That's a that's a really good deck. Um, we you know, after rotation, we'll have to see what you know what gets printed and everything and and uh, what to do. But yeah, R rotting Regisaur and Vivian Arcbow Ranger, those two together, are such a great combination. I'm sure there'll probably still be something there. Need to find more removal. Nope. Need to replace Hero of Precinct One. I 
I guess just more of the three mana creatures. You could play like Tombbound Lich, Thief of Sanity, Deputy of Detention. You could play those kind of cards instead of Hero of Precinct One. Is my opponent trying to cast the card from their hand? Is that what they're trying to do right now with a frenzy in play? Of course, I'm just sparking Frenzy. Your blood is mine. Do I want to attack? No, we won't attack. Let's get this thing back. Dispark Frenzy. We'll play Citadel next turn. It's usually better to play Citadel when you already have your six lands also, so you can get a land drop off the top. Oh, you're welcome, Hooblies. From Tier 1 Tuesday last week, you, you played that Orzhov Vampire deck list and took first at the LGS with it on Friday. Awesome. Way to go. Good job. You had a premium pack and got a foil Immortal Sun? Dude, I bet that is worth a lot of money. That seems like an EDH. Like an awesome card to have for EDH right there. Chain Whirler? Has to be Chain Whirler, right, with this attack? I'll block like this then. Oh, it was just Shock? I wish I would have just double blocked the Pyromancer. Sonar Loser! Thanks for that resub there, Sonar. That is our 10th sub of the day. Get in that sub goal. Everybody get some hype in the chat. It was Chain Roller. Nailed it. Ten subs on the day. <laughs> huh. Uh, that didn't help. <laughs> Hawkeye's doing something in the window. He's standing up back there. Something just hit the window, too. We are going to draw a land here. Oh, were you saying the opponent? So that cost three life. Whoa, and Sonar Loser is getting that sub train started. I guess sub boats. Keeping that going. With five gifted subs, getting us to 15. We're halfway to our next goal now. So congratulations to... Trojan Rage, Sani Poe, Blumpkin, Fear Flames, and Shadows. Hope you all enjoy your subs there. So many lands. We just can't get rid of them. Can't get away from them. <laughs> I 
<laughs> too much land. I know we've been, I've been talking about like this whole league, how there should be a 26 land instead of 25. Cause we've been like land short all the time. And then this happens. There's another land on the bottom too that we scried. Oh yeah, that, that'll work. Bounce that with the Kaya. Sorry I'm late. Trust me, I have a plan. Or are they gonna shoot Teferi in response? Wow, that is not a good play. Only time will tell. Like I'm I'm definitely targeting the Viachina Pyromancer, obviously. I think they should probably just shoot their Pyromancer. That deals me three damage. I'm no deal with all these thought razors. Protect you. It's unfortunate right there with the bell haunt. This mark's not a bad one to have access to. I'll take that. Let's play the gain life land. We'll just draw that. That's not a bad one to have access to. As I go. All right, gain some life. He played to fairy. Let's slow keep this, this one. Just a free three damage. Down to five. Bounce the Othakaya. That's more like it. Do some damage. Scry to the bottom. Well, I don't think I want to cast that thing. Well, we got out of the land pocket, and now we're in, you know, got lots of spells there. Our spell pocket. There we go. Oh yeah, our deck's definitely built around the Citadel there with all this all these life gain things. Alright, so Legion's End. Soren's not bad. I don't know, Deputy. Duress. Those things are reasonable. I don't know. Our our deck is kind of pretty good anyway. Like, I like the Citadel in this matchup, honestly. I don't think I want to sideboard it out. We saw how good it was there for us. I guess I could side out one and just keep one. No, I want to keep them. They're good. Time Raveler bounces out the Kai, which is about all it's doing. Is Deputy bad? Deputy, like, makes them use a burn spell on it, right? Like, it gets rid of, like, a Steamkin and makes them kill it, and then it resets Steamkin. No, Narset doesn't stop Frenzy. Like thought erasure bad. I 
I'm gonna just don't play discard. My stuff to affect the battlefield. They get rid of their hand pretty fast. Game's gonna go a little longer. We don't need to have these all these discard spells. We saw there that game. Just a bunch of discard spells aren't so good. Oh. Got knocked out by Hawkeye in the 15th round. Cool, yeah, that's what we did. Took out those erasures. Correct. Streamer, four mana Bolos is rotating out. Just got too tired of wearing the Bolos tie. Yep, shock lands are staying in. All right, do I play Harrow or do I scorn a lava runner? If I play Harrow, they have shock. They shock Harrow. Ugh, play like Wizards Lightning also. Just attack me for millions of damage. I'm like dead. I should probably just scorn. And I want to do this now because of Wizard's Lightning. Hey, Caddy Wampus. What's up? Ah, Wizard's Lightning. Well, all these cards are kind of devastating. I guess especially this Tybalt, I suppose. Darn. No, I don't really have a sweeper. I can block. That's a bad sign. It's a real bad sign. Come on, draw land here. I would want to go hero oath. That would be ideal. Nope, no land. I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. I demand servitude. All right, we'll get Chandra out of here. Hope they draw land. We need to land now. We have to go Hero Oath. Those are two bad draw steps in a row for me with those three damage spells. Nope. Dead. 
right? No, I guess I guess I'm not dead. I have to have hero trade and also chump and go down to one. Because Othakaya killed me, because that would have put me to five, and they have five power here. If I, so if I would have just Othakaya, I died. Dang, can't you just draw land? I guess not. All right, so... Hmm... Do I want discard back in on the play? Do I want this time wipe in here? Maybe I want this time wipe in here. That might could be good. Yeah, what we'll kind of Citadel? Certainly really considering more discard, but I like I like the look of our deck. You know, a different. It's not like I would never play discard against um, red decks. A different looking deck, I'd be willing to play more discard. But we have a lot of good stuff here, and I think we have a lot of better things than discard. It's also considering cutting hero. Time Raveler is actually not bad here. Of Time Raveler bouncing Othakaya and drawing a card. All these cards are good. This is a tough one. I mean, I could put back Bell Haunt, I guess, but Bell Haunt's good. I think I want the two removal spells. Can I get away with ditching a land? Maybe I can get away with ditching a land with this temple. Oh gosh. Instant regrets. Instant regret. Ow. Oh no. Oh, deck. Why are you doing this? Yeah, we should have. Sh yep. Should have shipped either the Teferi or the Bell Haunt, one of those two. Okay, well. Sometimes you get punished. happens. Ooh. Okay. Not punished. We need one more. We need one more land now.
this one out. Trust me, I have a plan. No. Ugh, deck. It would have been so nice if we would have hit our land drop this last turn and then drawn another land and time wiped here. Man, I feel so bad. I just threw this away by putting that Godless Shrine down to the bottom. Just threw this away. Alright, that loss was my fault. Which a lot of losses are. Most losses are my fault. Bleh. I'm usually the one that like always wants to keep so many more lands than than not. I went I got really greedy there. Really unnecessarily greedy. I think I think we win that game if I don't ditch that land. I think we do. I think if if I ditch either Teferi or Belhaunt, either one, pick pick one. I think if I ditch if I ditch either one and keep the land, I think we could have won that game. Um, but yeah, this is yeah this is a fun deck. This is a good one. This is a definitely a good deck here. Um, yeah, we we learned Scape Shift's a hell of a deck. But I think that overall, I'm going to be winning against Mono Red more often than losing probably with this 75 that we have here. I think I threw that one away. Um, yeah, this is definitely a good rotation proof deck here. Of course, if you want to make the deck better, uh, as far as things that can make the deck better, get rid of Tranquil Cove and Dim Dimsel Backwater. If you have if you have the check lands, you know play the play the twelve check lands. Um, cut all these tap lands. They certainly it certainly hurt. It, it was not our our deck was worse playing those that's for sure just play the 12 check lands play a swamp for the only basic and play a good amount of uh shock land you know play your shock lands and check lands and you know play your generic esper mana base here um but yeah there we go esper here the yeah i i just went really i went uh the reason why i bounced the oath of kai instead of the um steamkin was all because of the time wipe we drew the time wipe there for five mana i was going all all in there basically uh it's trying to um you know like let them keep the steamkin but like if we we bounce the oath of kai we draw a land which we didn't we drew that mortify but if we would have drawn a land then we play it's our fourth land, then we untap and draw our fifth land, then we you know, so I I did need back to back lands, but yeah, you know, we untap, we play fifth land, we time wipe, get rid of the Steamkin and everything else, and I mean it it, it wasn't the right play. Steamkin was the right play. That was my thinking in my head when I did it, but it was incorrect. because uh, even getting rid of Steamkin, they're probably replaying Steamkin, so we'd still probably be able to time wipe it anyway. Yeah, this is this is definitely a good deck, even without five minutes of fairy. We didn't really miss five minutes of fairy here. So yeah, if you if you don't yeah you don't have five minutes of fairies and you can craft this pretty easily, yeah, I recommend it. This is a good deck, um, especially if you have some check lands and you can replace some of these other lands with check lands. It definitely would make your life better as well. 
But I think this deck is good enough without five mana Teferi still. Okay, that's us for Hero. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And hope you're liking this um, rotation proof Monday so far. Uh, but there we go. That's it here for Esper Hero. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.